Hi guys, it's Liv. Today, oh, I'm out of focus. There we go. Today I'm doing a video that's um, a request from someone who commented on my Instagram. I'll put her name down here. And basically she just wanted me to do a video on how to make the same foods interesting, like when you basically eat the same foods every day or like you're kind of forced to eat the same foods every day because that's what you can afford or that's what's available where you live or whatever. I probably am one of the best people to ask about this because I actually eat the same stuff all the time. Partly it's just due to like what we have available here in Canada but Partly it's due to the fact that I have some dietary restrictions because I have a lot of like digestive problems and I just have very irritable bowel so I tend to stick to the same foods. But as you can see from my Instagram that does not mean that I eat the same meal every time and it doesn't mean at all that the food can, has to be boring and like bland and like the same exact thing. The kind of foods that she was talking about, um, she said for example like rice, beans, tofu, like sometimes veggies, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna tell you how to make rice, beans, tofu, maybe potatoes interesting. And this doesn't have to be just for those foods, like I'm specifically gonna talk about those foods because those are the ones she asked about and if you want me to specifically talk about something that you want to know then you have to ask me a question as well. So my first tip is to get good at sauces. Um, if you've been following me at all for any length of time you will definitely know that I am like the biggest sauce person. That's how I keep things interesting in my cooking. So when I say get good at sauces, like find some recipes for sauces that you can make that are easy, that are fast, that are simple, that don't require a lot of ingredients, but that make your food taste really good and also can make it taste really different depending on what sauce you use. For example, I eat stir fry pretty much all the time, but I don't have the same sauce every time. Like sometimes I'll just do a simple soy sauce, maple syrup, lime juice, and then other times I'll do like a almond butter, orange juice, miso, soy sauce kind of combination. Also with pasta, like I, I eat pasta a lot, but I don't have the same pasta sauce all the time. So like the other day I made a bolognese. Um, another time I made like a rosé sauce, another time it's a cheese sauce. That is how you can make foods interesting. So like even if you had rice every day of the week but you made a different sauce or you put on a different condiment each time, you're probably not going to feel as bored of it as if you're just having like the same rice and same sauce or just like rice with no sauce. Okay, my second tip is to get some spices or spice mixes. These do not have to be expensive. If you just get dry spices and learn how to use them properly and learn how to use them in combination with each other and then also get some spice mixes so for example like curry powder is a spice mix it has like turmeric ginger all those like already in it so you just need to use that one powder you don't have to mix the spices yourself if you can cook with different spices it's kind of like the sauce thing it's just gonna make things taste different so obviously these tips have a little bit of experimenting in the kitchen and maybe learning how to cook if you don't know how to cook but it's gonna help you in the long run like if you have to eat the same or very similar foods all the time getting familiar with spices and different combinations of spices can completely change your meals okay my tip number three is to change their form so the best food I can think of to like change its form and enjoy it in many different ways are potatoes and they're also very inexpensive and you can usually find them in most places. You can change the form of potatoes in so many different ways but that also goes for beans and that goes for tofu. Um, rice, I don't know, like some people eat rice with jam like they make sweet rice or they make like rice pudding stuff like that. I've never done that. Rice is definitely a savory food for me. I do have lots of videos on my channel using a lot of the really common foods um, so I mean if you're looking for recipes like what to do with common foods like rice you know rice tofu potatoes veggies those kind of things I'm always just trying to like shake up the same foods that I have all the time and I think I do a pretty good job of it another thing you can do is just like if you only have potatoes or you only have tofu or you only have rice or beans or whatever just look up like best bean recipe ever and just like look through different recipes and there's so many recipes for so many different things out there like you're bound to find something that you have the ingredients for or that you can sub ingredients for or whatever 
So there's always something you can do. You're not doomed to be eating the same meal over and over again. Okay, my last tip is to wrap them up. So this can be as simple as like making a wrap or a sandwich or something like that um, with the food. So I have many a time made a wrap with rice in it, like rice, tofu, veggies, or like rice and beans, burritos, you know. You can also, I just remembered today, make quesadillas. So you can take a wrap and you can fold it in half or you can put two wraps on top of each other with like rice, beans, veggies, or just veggies, or even potato. High Carb Hannah has a potato quesadilla recipe. Like you can put anything inside a wrap or bread or a bun or you know, whatever, rice paper, like anything, you can wrap them up in it and it's gonna totally change it again. Like it's amazing and you can wrap up anything. That would be such a cool, I bet there's a YouTube channel about that where they like wrap up foods and like make panini all foods or something. But anyways, you can tell me if there's a channel like that because if not, I'm gonna make one. But I just kind of wanted to get this out there and get you guys thinking about this because I know probably a lot of people struggle with this um yeah so i hope that was helpful i hope you guys are having an awesome day i hope that it is sunny where you are because it's really cold and raining here i will see you guys next time